welcome back to my channel uh, today I wanted to show you and bring you along with the making of my July um, bullet journal spreadsheet so I have um, I've never showed you any of my bullet journal spreadsheets so maybe we'll go along and show you kind of what I have a little bit so I have my 2019 um, open page with a little quote and some of my goals that I have mentally, physically, and productively. I have all of the months laid out here. Books I've read, um, books I want to read, and shows or movies I want to watch. And then we go into January with my monthly goals, my YouTube videos. Um, habit tracker, mood tracker, spending, highlight of my day, all of that kind of stuff, and then my weekly spreadsheet. So let's just get into um, making my July spreadsheet, and then I'll show you guys it at the end once it's all done. Here's the first spread of my July bullet journal spreadsheet. I have, um, this can be seen as a sun or as a sunflower. Um, I made it more so like a sun. And then I have a quote that says, hold on to people that feel like sunshine. I'm trying to keep this one really upbeat with like the black and yellow themes like bumblebees, sunflowers, all that kind of thing. Here is my um, month spread. So I made it like a honeycomb kind of pattern and then I just have all of the days of the month written out and then I wrote like Canada Day, my mom's birthday and any other big events I'm gonna have I will write them on here. And I have my goals, so my life goals, my health goals, and then a little sunflower here with a little quote that says, sunflowers still grow at night. And then I kind of kept these little bumblebees going through. And then I have a health tracker, so anytime I go to the gym, go running, or drink a sufficient amount of water, 
um, to like my goal amount of water, I will highlight the day in yellow. And then I'm gonna have a starting and ending each month um, to track my weight and then uh, like my arms, thighs, bust, waist, and hips because I wanna go to the gym and gain some muscle and get nice and strong and fit. And then I have my spending log. So I have um, a column for the date that I spent the item, where I spent the item, what the item was, the amount of the item, how I paid for it. So cash, credit, debit, gift card, whatever. Um, and then my total amount that I have um, spent throughout the entire month. And then we get into my weekly um, page. So here's week by week. Um, I haven't decided if I want to highlight these in yellow yet each day. So like this is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I haven't decided yet. And then I have different colors for different things that I'm doing. So the um, bright blue is my social kind of life. My red is my work schedule. And then I'll do more colors as it goes on, as I make more plans and dedicate them to certain colors. And then I kept the bees going in the upper corners. And I have a section for notes um, that may just be like things to do and stuff to get done, stuff like that. So I have that for each week of July. And then at the very end, I have my mood tracker. Um, I made it like... Again, it could be a flower or a sun. Um, and then in red, orange, and yellow, I'll have stressed, um, sad, and happy. I'm not gonna go into the elaborate five to six different kind of moods, just a simple three. And that's everything that I have for July. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, comment pictures down below what your July spreadsheet bullet journal looks like for this month. And I'll see you guys in my next video.